Where did that bird even come from, you think? There's a story about a great condor said to roost on an island's abandoned reactor, though there's no longer any way to reach the isle. Or at least, none that I'm aware of. Nature's finally reclaiming what Shinra stole. Well, even if we could get there, I'd rather not bother. Didn't seem very friendly. Agreed. Let's focus on where we can go. hiding. Let's do it right. So all of this is Junon? Everything above us. Below is under Junon. Little more than an impoverished fishing village. Vegas, Shinra's always gotta have someone stuck on. It's their friggin' M.O. One moment. Hmm? 
Welcome to Under Junon, our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. What? Avalanche, huh? That depends on who's asking. A woman who could turn you in. And be a hundred grand richer for it. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Can't take it with you. Hmm. Hmm. And Aerith to boot, huh? That's another half a million on top. Uh, half a million? <laughs> Down here, though. We know when to turn a blind eye. Consider our lips sealed. Uh, sorry, but I call bullshit. Well, I don't think you would, if you knew even half of what my town's been through. You don't like it? Leave. But, over there... There's a quiet little inn, where everyone's welcome. Any guys in black robes pass through? Not that I saw. Did see some black suits, though. Two guys and a girl. Looked pretty tough. Well, well. They made a beeline right for the elevator. Now we're talking. No, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs is Shinra turf. And the same goes for the elevator as well. Don't ask me what, but the company's got something big planned up there. And security is tight. You start anything, anything at all, and there will be consequences. Behave yourselves now. Don't care what she said. There's got to be black robes around here somewhere, so how are we going to find them? That would depend on where they are headed. If they mean to continue west, there are only two ways off this continent. By sea or by air. Right. Might want to ask around town, then. Locals will know routes not on the map. May have even seen stragglers pass through. Or got boats for rent or something. How about we meet at the inn when we're done? Sounds good. And remember... Low profile. Hello there. Inspiring, isn't it? The view. I'm Snaps, by the way. Shutterbug and card-carrying member of the Association of Photography Aficionados. Mind if I get a shot of you? For posterity. Plus, it gives us more opportunities to prove that we're off. <laughs> Pretty as a picture. You got what it takes to be in front of the camera. But what about behind it? So, apparently there's a rather scenic spot not far from here. Thing is, this terrain's a bit perilous. At least for your average photog like me. But maybe not for you? If you find the spot, Take a moment to appreciate it. Try to view it as a professional photographer might. Plus, it gives us more to prove that we're officer material. Who do you think will get licensed first? Me or you? Have you met some silly? Many years ago, this stretch of ocean was home to the Republic of Junon's capital, a floating city built atop a fleet of interconnected ships. Priscilla's even managed to teach her top oil. Hey, you see that trio that took the elevator up top? No shortage of ways to generate power.
I see that you've made your way to Under Junon. This town is quite reminiscent of the Midgar Undercity, isn't it? The severe lack of sunlight being one similarity. If there's anything else I can do for you, please let me know. I'm always happy to help. Wait, you want to buy something? Here? Okay. town is Shinra's holding some kind of big event up top. Wonder what? I'm looking for a quality harpoon. Hello, hello, hello! You take care of yourself, okay? Huh? Elevators are only way up, but Rhonda won't thank us if we storm it. We're recruiting for Crows Against Shinra. But that's a good thing, right? It means. Recruiting for crows against ships. Hello there. Room for one. Help! Somebody, please! Help! <sighs> Anybody, please! That sword. You're some kind of fighter, aren't you? Help! That was Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. Now! There's a monster attacking the boat! Ocean this way! Flight. Down here! Hey. We gotta save her! She Quickly! Okay. Please! Uh, uh, help! Uh, somebody! Uh, anybody!
way. Shinra's most wanted. Get rid of that thing. Say what? Ferret, focus. Get its attention. On it. can do. Get him! You can do it! This is my turn! Hang on! Call him right deal with that! I'm coming! Eric! 
Hell yeah. This one's for you. I'll show you what I can do. She's breathing. Hey, we need help over here. She's so cold. Maybe someone should go find a doctor. There's no time. Somebody, help! Oh, I need to get her breathing again. Maybe someone should go find a doctor? Don't just stand there, help me! You're on chest compressions. Got it. Now, start! Uh. guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. <sighs> Easy. They're guests of mine. And this one was trying to save your life. He was? Ugh, nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't ya? You big moron! <laughs> Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Not to beat that guy, but kids these days, I swear. Now, now. Who is that? Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire.
Ocean's real quiet today. Too quiet. Something's brewing. Can tell you that much. <laughs> an old salt lake. Hey, you guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you... I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but... Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And got to thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow? So wait! You won't be sorry, promise. Later! Um... I know, I know, she laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. All right, let's see what's biting today. Hey, if it isn't the heroes of the hour, I heard about what you did for that girl. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. It's the least we can do for you, really. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? <clears throat> uh, could you make it five? Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? It's open. Hey, so about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Could be that she's after those Shinner bounties. <sighs> you know, you might be right about that. Little punk blowing smoke up our asses. Ought to give her a piece of my mind. I could feel them slipping away one by one, and the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Speaking of, you seen them lately? <laughs> hmm? Cloud. Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Red. Thought it was someone else. Nope. I'll clear here, officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. Come in. I don't know about you, but it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm-mm. <laughs> No time for that, not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? The church, right? Oh, so close. That was the second time. Oh yeah, right. That was fun, wasn't it? Hopping from roof to roof together like that?
Where do you think those guys in black went? We should have seen them by now. Shinra didn't waste any time getting our names and faces out here, did they? This town reeks of fish and brine. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. Huh. Not good. Thankfully, my ears are unaffected. I'll let you know if I hear anything unusual. Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I... <sighs> you... Regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio? From Nibelheim? The general store kid? Yeah. <sighs> anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all... grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... <sighs> You're... not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> With my iron stomach? <laughs> Night.
hey. <laughs> okay. Now that the gang's all here, it's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the Interim Wutai Government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with! <laughs> mm. uh, Wutai? Yep. Which brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand. But you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats? I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that low. I resent that! <sighs> Although, that is something we do. Come here. Traveling alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from town to town, hustling. Scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime. An assassination. And guess who the target is? Seriously, guess. <sighs> Just spit it out already. Who else but a certain company's new president, Rufus. Freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out... Oh, wow. Tell us more. Mm. Okay, you want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, got a hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this was fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> I know you're in there, my friend. If you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. <laughs> Now, now! You don't want to make me come in there and fetch you, because I would love to do it! Who's that? <sighs> A pain in the ass. Let's go. Honestly, how long do you intend to keep me waiting? Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if by fate, the Speed Demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith Gainsborough. Uh, me? You come alone? <laughs> it only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. <laughs> you got some weird friends, man. We might want to think about getting out of here. 
These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you? The slime ball who sold us out. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Like I pray it will for Yuffie upstairs. You didn't come from the grasslands, did you? Yeah, we did. You know, Bill? He helped us cross the swamp and everything. He what? Uh, God damn it. I told that idiot to take his signs down. Swamplands are dangerous even on Choco back. I'm Gabe, by the way. Owner of the ranch here. And before you ask, my birds are not for rent. Ain't worth the risk. <sighs> Used to run deliveries, but Shinra put the kibosh on all that. Still trying to keep it going best I can. Well, was trying till my carriage shit the bed. And since I don't have the parts to fix her, both she and my business are as good as dead. Even the chocobos are feeling down about it all. You know, I bet we could help you fix it. Kind of you to offer, but nah. It's just a matter of getting the right parts, isn't it? Says the girl who ain't gotta fix it, but even if you were some kind of secret grease monkey, I wouldn't be able to pay you for your time. I'm flat broke. Curious about my birds? I've tried setting them free, but they just keep coming back. Force of habit. <sighs> well, nothing for it now. Serves me right thinking I could run a business. Should have known it'd all fall apart. Hey, come on now. Don't be so hard on yourself. Please, Cloud. He needs help. If not for him, then at least for the chocobos? Maybe I just want to feel like I did a good deed. But look at him. And his birds. Sweet! I wasn't really asking, but I gotta warn you. The parts I need are hard to come by. At least around here they sure are. So where can we get them? From this craftsman at the top of the mountain. He'll have them. Can't go on foot though. Only a certain chocobo can make that climb. Bird by the name of Belle. Last I saw she was over yonder. And she ain't a big fan of people. All right, let's roll. for roping you into this, even though he can't pay. Not can't. Won't. Hate to break it to you, but pretty sure that guy's better off than he looks. Wait, seriously? Are you saying I got duped? That he's just using me? <laughs> Afraid so. Huh? That jerk. Whatever. I'm not doing it for him anyway. I'm doing it for the chocobos.
Trying to fix Gabe's cart. Oh, so you're looking for parts. Well, you'll have to come back tomorrow, or the day after. I'm too tired to help you right now. Hmm. Think a swift kick could get him up? Rise and shine! Get up, sleepyhead! Come on, please! <sighs> The voice of an angel. I'm gonna dream sweet dreams tonight. Mm. You wanna get my ass up? Then you bring me exactly what's on that list, got it? Well? I say we get his ass up. Like that, okay?
Special delivery! Hmm? What? Didn't you read the list? Everything I need's written right there. Oh ho! Now that's what I'm talking about. Anyway, name's Freddy. So what was it you needed again? Oh, yeah. You did mention that. This'll just take a sec. Tell me she ain't a beauty. Nobody makes them like I do. And that's no lie. Go on, take it. You ought to make more than that. Gabe's definitely gonna need him at some point. I don't know about that. Besides... I've got things to do. <sighs> like catching some Z's, for one. So if we're all done here... Guess what? Brought you a present from your good friend, Freddy. Is that so? Only if you promise to fix your carriage and take better care of your chocobos. Well, twist my arm, why don't you? All right, little lady. It's a deal. Good. In that case, no time like the present. Good as new. Ho oh, oh, I gotta say, that old dog really outdid himself this time. Hell of a job. Don't think my carrot has ever looked even half this good. Appreciate it, kids. I can finally get the business back up and running again. That's great. But before we head out, I just want to ask one more thing. If we hadn't shown up, would you have even tried to give your birds a better life? Maybe. I see. But I get it. Shinra's a big company, and what they say goes. I can't blame you for being too scared to fight back. 
Hey, I ain't scared of those sons of bitches. Not one bit. Oh? Then why'd you shut down the business? It's like I told you, my carriage broke. And getting the parts to fix it sounded like a real hassle, so... So there you have it. I just... let it go. How responsible. Okay, fine. I shouldn't have been so quick to throw in the towel. You happy? Starting today, I'm giving this job my all. I'll stock up on parts so I can keep the carriage moving and make sure my birds never get bored again. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> then the deal is sealed. You're quite the businesswoman yourself, ain't she? you. signals in your vicinity. Would you mind investigating?
Deal with that. Here goes. No. <laughs> One more shot. Why don't you lead the way? Oh, damn time. Hard to <laughs> fight that. That wasn't so bad. Won't take long. <laughs> <laughs> Do this fast. You're done. Going in. See you around. Ooh. 
On you. I'll take care of them. Over here. Go on. Enough. Enjoy the ride. Get him. <laughs> Leave it to me. Something. Keep it together. Hang back. I'll show you what I can do. Follow my lead. That's over.
another Remna wave tower.
Gotta be cursed in it. Here goes. It's your turn. Of all the heroes, we're going in. Let me teach him a lesson. What the? Leave the rest to me. You're up. Fight through. Need a breather. I'm coming. Watch out for high winds. Follow my lead. Will that really suck? Nowhere. Yeah. 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 Yeah.